everyone welcome to my channel the medico lover today we'll be learning about scapula its general feature and its site determination scapula is the flat triangular bone which is present on the posterior lateral aspect of the thoracic cage it extended from the second vertebra to seventh vertebra so surfaces this is the costal surface which is present anteriorly and it is concave in nature. This is the posterior surface which is convex and the posterior surface of the scapula is divided into two parts. This is supraspinous which is smaller and this is infraspinous. These parts are divided by the spinous process of the scapula. Then borders. This is the medial border which is thin. This is the lateral border which is thick. And this one is the superior border of the scapula. Angles. This is the superior angle, inferior angle, glenoidal angle. Processes. Coracoid process, acromion process, and this is the spinous process which divide the posterior side of the scapula in smaller supraspinous and larger infraspinous fossa. Spinous process borders. Anterior border which is attached to the dorsal surface of the scapula. Posterior border which has two lip. This is the upper lip and the lower lip. Lateral border. It's the lateral border of the scapula which forms the spinoglenoid notch. Why it is named so spinoglenoid notch? Because this is present between the spinous process and the glenoid cavity of the scapula. Surfaces. It has two surfaces. The superior surface and the inferior surface. Acromion process borders and surfaces. Acromion process has two borders, the lateral border and the medial border. Surfaces. This is the superior surface and the inferior surface. Then suprascapular notch. This notch is present to the root of the coracoid process. Side determination of scapula. For side determination of scapula, we should know only two things in our mind. The costal surface will be placed anteriorly and the glenoid cavity oriented laterally. So this is the left side scapula.